Hey YouTube, this is Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. Hey, today we're gonna show you how to install the Elegance 40 wood burning fireplace. This is an airtight, EPA certified wood burning fireplace. It is under two grams of smoke, so it is EPA certified for 2020. It will heat up to about 2,500 square feet and it is up to 100,000 BTUs. So this fireplace is a heater. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is set the unit in place. And we just wanna make sure it's flush with the front, make sure it's level, and we've got equal space on each side. And then we're going to secure it to the hearth. So you can see this fireplace does require metal studs. Next, anchor plate. We've got the little gasket on there and we're gonna attach the anchor plate to the top of the fireplace. And we've got our laser tool that gives us a nice center mark. And we're gonna transfer that mark to the fire stop. Cut a 12 by 12 inch square hole. This is for our fire stop and to have clearance to combustibles for our chimney pipe. So we just square that, mark it, and trim it out. This is our Class A chimney. This is TLC Amerivent brand, 316 stainless inside and out. It's got a nice twist lock to it and a locking band. Make sure those are secure. Here comes the fire stop. We get the pipe level and secure the fire stop. We make these ourselves. It's pretty cheap piece of sheet metal with a hole in it. So we're gonna transfer this laser again, cut out the attic space. We need another fire stop and we'll get that secured and put some more pipe up to the top. Here's our attic insulation shield. This goes around the pipe up in the attic, giving us that two inches of clearance. So same thing as a fire stop, clearance from combustibles, but it is vertical, giving us clearance from any insulation. So the insulation doesn't touch the chimney pipe. Same thing, laser it up through to the roof, put our screw in there, uh, we mark that inside of the flashing, and you can see that truss right there. We can't cut the truss, but we still have the two inches of clearance to our chimney pipe. We're getting all the nails out underneath the roof to be able to slide the flashing underneath. All right, we've got some silicone underneath the flashing, and we'll just slide it on under. Just trimming a little of the roof. We'll get some more pipe in there. Storm collar, this keeps the water from going down in the flashing where you could see it was a vented flashing on the top of the cone. Extra silicone, I don't think you can use too much silicone. We don't ever have leaky roofs. That sticker was put on upside down by the factory. <laughs> 10 foot two rule. The rule is we need to be two feet higher than anything 10 feet away. We got 17 inches plus the cap or the minimum coming out of the roof needs to be about three feet. We have a little over four feet out of the roof. Okay, next we're gonna move to the inside again and do the heat ducts. This is a gravity heat duct. No fan is required. However, if you put the fan on the fireplace, it actually blows to these top heat ducts. So we've got a 10 foot piece of ducting. This is eight inch foil or insulated wrapped aluminum ducting. We're just gonna cut that in half. We've got a little elbow. For the top piece, that connects to the duct on the top. 
and then connect it to the bottom opening on the fireplace. So there's two gravity ducts, one on each side, and then there's also a vent opening for the bottom on each side. So that makes a total of four grills. And these gravity ducts actually make the fireplace more efficient. It moves a good amount of air through convection, so there is no blower required. The heat will just move through those ducts as the fireplace heats up. So here we are, we're gonna light the first fire. We're putting the kindling on top, couple little logs. So because this is the first fire, we are curing the fireplace. We wanna draw the moisture out of the soapstone, nice and slow. Your air control, you wanna push it all the way in, the lever on the left, and then the other one moves to the left to give you the most air. So once this heats up, it has a spring, heat activated spring that will push the air control out, which decreases the amount of air, making the fireplace more efficient. So this fireplace requires metal studs. The minimum is 56 by 40 inches wide. So within the metal studs, you also have the requirement of non-combustible material such as cement board, tile, brick. It has to be non-combustible. So this is the Elegance 40 by Ambiance. This is our best selling wood burning fireplace. It is the most efficient, it has the largest glass, and it is the overall best value in an airtight wood burning fireplace. Here's the heat duct system. Now we've got the fireplace nice and hot, and you can see the amount of airflow coming off of these ducts 177 degrees. That's pretty warm air for coming out of a fireplace without a blower. You're also getting the radiant heat from the glass and 184 degrees. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more content like this and give us a like. Check us out at maplemountainfireplace.com and we'll see you next time.